Hello, it's Tony here from Next Studio, and in this tutorial, we've been creating cinematic titles. Throughout the majority of these tutorials, you're going to realize that one tool is about to become your best friend in quite a large number of applications. The heat distortions effect was introduced into HitFilm 3 Pro in early April of 2015. It's originally used to create extremes of a hot environment or even to produce the extremes of the sun. However, we're going to be using this to produce really cool backing environments for your titles. I won't go into too much detail, but in short, this produces procedural mathematics. To you and I, that's fractal noise. What this does is it stacks up on layers of post-processing effects. So in short, that's the fractal noise, and then we have the diffuse that follows the same mathematical pattern. The next thing you have is the distortion, which is pretty much a displacement effect. And as you can see, if you mix all three of these together, you get something quite remarkable. So go ahead and make a new project. I recommend a resolution of 2704 for the width and 1520 for the height frame rate of 30 and an aspect ratio of square pixels. Go ahead and click start compositing. For this we need two new layers. So the first one will be a grade layer and the second one will be a plane. Make sure it matches the timeline and click OK. Go ahead and place your plane layer underneath the grade layer. Head up into the effects tab and grab the light flare effects and place that onto the plane. Then go back up into the effects tab and this time look for the heat distortions effect. This time place this onto the grade layer. Open up the heat distortions effect and crank the scale up to around 360 pixels. Then go down to your distortion and set this to 500. The first thing we need to do is remove these artifacts within the generation. This is down to the rays and the flare tails. So head down to your light flares and under other elements, set the brightness all the way down to zero. And just above that is the rays. Go into there and set the brightness again to zero. So we have something that looks like the intro titles, but at the moment it's animating a little bit too fast. So head back up into the heat distortions effect and under animation, set the wind speed to one pixels and the noise speed to 0.05. So go ahead and play that back to yourself. And so far it's looking pretty good. What you should do next is go for a majority of HitFilm's light flares. This produces some really cool variations with the patterns and the colour. You could also go into the global settings and adjust the hue shift. But from there on it's up to you to jazz it up and make it something really interesting. All you need to do now is add some 3D text. And by now I'm sure you know that there's already a tool in HitFilm called Boris 3D. However, if you want to take an alternative route, I do have a tutorial on 3ds Max producing 3D extruded or beveled text. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, consider liking and subscribing, and keep an eye out for the next tutorial, producing an organic vortex. And on that note, I bid you happy hit filming.